hi guys welcome back to coding world today in this video i am going to show you one small but very important feature of the git which is how to create a git patch and why it is used in a development process so before that i want to tell there is one scenario in our development project like uh, we are developing a project and for local when we are running that application we have a different setting and when we are running that on our production we have a different setting some people uh, some people create a readme file for this scenario and write down all the scenario all the changes which they need to do in all files where to make that application runnable on the local so they mention all information in the readme file but it will not be useful like it will, it is not a super fast you have to do that manually go into each file do that replace the previous value with a local value and do the changes so it is a time consuming process to avoid that we have like if your project was is on a version controller like a git we can create a batch whatever the changes you need to do on the local for that we will create a patch and that patch we will apply whenever we want to run the clone repository on our local we will apply that patch on that clone repository and that application will be runnable on the local so let's start with the example this is my file upload and download project which i have released uh, which i have created a video on this and uploaded on my channel now if you see here it is a test db so instead of test db i want my local db local db and the, this change i have created this change i have made in the application.yml file let's test with the, this first small change so now whenever any user or any developer pull your request pull your repository and try to run on the local he need to replace that test db with a local db so you can write this thing into the readme dot file but instead of writing there also we can create a patch so if you see here git status in git status you are able to see the that file has been modified now for this change let's create a patch how to check that what exactly we have checked so we will check we will use the git command which is our git diff so in that diff we are able to see that we have changed application file and from test db to local db now we have to create the patch using this changes and that we will use whenever we do the local setup so let's create a patch using a git command git difference is showing the what are the changes we have did now write the command and which will move these changes into the one patch file and using that patch file we will do the our local setup so let's type that git diff and we redirect this to our my local setup dot patch okay so we have created the patch my local setup now let's check that oh, is there any file created okay we have created the file my local setup and dot patch so dot patch is used for to create the patch now i have i will remove that i will uh, whatever the changes i have made i will stash that okay so i have did the stash now if you check there is no change in my application dot file now this is the your actual code base which you have downloaded from the git clone now we will apply our patch to this setup and test db will that test db will change to the local db okay let's apply that patch using we can apply this using a git patch apply patch okay so this is a patch which i have downloaded this is the patch i am going to apply and you can able to see that we have made the changes into application dot property files and when we apply this okay so patch successfully applied 
and this test dba has been changed to the local dba so guys this is it for this git patch hope you uh, hope you guys like this video if you want to such technical videos please like and subscribe my channel thank you